Danny, there's something you need to know. Okay, what's going on? All right, you're scaring me. Lo siento. But you need to know the truth, okay? What truth? What are you talking about? Danny, I'm sick. <laughs> Look, I know you're sick. Okay, you're in the hospital, and I know I shouldn't have left you when you were having those headaches. But Daniela, no, but you're in the right place now, okay? You're gonna get whatever medicine that you need. No, Mija. The headaches are only symptoms, they're not the problem. You said my mother was was just working too much, that she'd be fine. Yes, that's what I wanted to believe. That's what I kept telling myself, but... The truth is that I am sick, and I am not going to get better. Don't say that. Of course you're gonna get better. That's what hospitals are for, to make you better. Danny, you have to listen to what your mom's gonna say, okay? I have a brain tumor. What? No, no, that's crazy. It's no. true, and it's inoperable. But that's something that you can live with, right? No, Mika, I can't live with it, not for very long. So make him take him out. It's make it operable, operate. operable, sweetheart. No, just just, just it is stop it, okay? Just stop. None of this makes any sense. I know, sweetheart. I know that it doesn't make sense. Danny. What is wrong with you? How can you let her say this stuff? Well, I don't want to, but I'm afraid that's the truth. Mom. I'm dying, sweetheart. And soon. No. No! No, this doesn't make any sense. One day, one day you're fine, the next day you have a headache, and now they tell you you're dying? It doesn't work like that, Mom. Somebody made a mistake. No. They, need to, they need to run tests or something. No. Well, then they need to do more. I mean, how crazy is this since when do, when do hospitals do drive through diagnosis? Sweetheart, listen to me. She's been sick for a while, honey. Wait, so the dizziness, the food poisoning. God, it wasn't food poisoning, was it? I'm so sorry. How long have you known that you've been sick? A little while, a month or so. A month or so? When were you going to tell me? Well, telling you wouldn't have made any difference. Oh, so that, so that makes it okay to keep it a secret from me? You were just starting to have a life here in Lambview, making friends, having fun. After all you'd been through, you were happy. I didn't want you to put all that on hold because of me. My life? My life? Like sitting in a boring classroom? Doing this stupid musical that, that we didn't even get to do? I didn't think it was stupid, and I don't think you thought it was stupid either. I didn't want you to lose all that because you were worried about me. No, but I'm your daughter. You should have told me. Danny, I don't know if there's any consolation, but she didn't tell me either. I just found out myself recently. So that's what's been going on between you two. That night that I found you together in that room, you weren't doing it. You were taking care of her. Yes, that's right. You're right, sweetheart. Todd and I have gotten closer because I'm sick. It's why it's important to us that you two build a relationship together. That's why I haven't been content to think that you guys will hope that you guys will find each other someday. I need your father in my life now. So do you. I'm going to be here for you. Always. Because we're family. No, families are supposed to help each other. Why aren't you doing anything about this? You've got all that money to throw around. There's got to be something that you can do. Honey, I would do anything. Well, then do it. I have. Fix this. No, mija, mija, mija. There's nothing he can do, okay? We've explored all the options. What does that even mean? We've gotten second and third opinions. And fourth and fifth opinions, and they're all saying the same. Well, what about Destiny's brother, Greg? Sweetheart, he's who gave me the diagnosis. Honey, I don't want to, but I'm going to die. So what we have to do now 
is make the most of the time we have together, okay? You how much time do we have? Months. Maybe less. We need to make some plans. No. Mm -mm. No. Danny, I know exactly no, how you feel. No, you don't! I can't be here. I can't do this. Sweet. No, just leave me alone, okay? I have to get out of Go. here. Don't. Danny, wait, wait. Danny! Todd, Todd, let her go! I said I'd be here for Danny, and I will. Same as you, I'm looking for Danielle. Don't get lost, I can do it myself. I'm not leaving. Listen, Skippy, you don't get to decide what you do. You're the one who got my daughter in this mess and nearly got her killed, right? I'm sorry, okay, I told you. I, I can't tell you how sorry I am, Mr. Manning. But listen, she needs me right now. And if this is what I think it is, then her mom needs you too. It's okay, go back to the hospital. Let me find Danny. How are you gonna do that? Please trust me, Mr. Manning. <laughs> oh God, Blair. What if, she, what if she hates me? She does not hate you. I did not see the look on her face when I told her. She was so furious at me for not having told her sooner and then she ran out the door. She's confused. Taya, she's scared. She should calm down, calm down. She has to absorb all of this and she has to accept it. That's why, <laughs> sweetie, that's why it was so important that you told her the truth. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. God, I can't mm. even imagine. I'm just glad that Todd was here for me, for, for us. Yeah. How are you and Danny getting along? You know, <laughs> I don't know exactly how or when it happened, but something shifted between those two. I just hope it's enough for them to to be able to trust each other and love each other so they'll have each other once once I'm gone, you know? I'm making a promise right now to you, okay? You listen to me. I'm gonna do everything in my power. Make sure that Danny is a part of Todd's <laughs> life, a part of his family, a star on the boys, okay? Promise. I don't know what I would have done without you these past few months. <laughs> you kind of taken over my life. Oh, well, you know what? Somebody had to do your little high maintenance here. <laughs> so is Danny. And I need to know <laughs> that you're going to be there for her that you're going to be a big part of our life when I'm gone. I'm going to go check on Star. You look gorgeous. Hey, Eli, it's Blair. Listen, will you call me when you get this message? I want to talk to you. Well, I'm ready to talk to you about it. your marriage proposal. Did you find that yet? No, but I've got someone on the case. Oh, how's she going to get through this, Todd? We're going to help her. Once I'm gone. 
You're gonna live through her. You're gonna live through Danny. And she's gonna be okay because she's your daughter. She's gonna need you, Todd. And I need her too. Damn it, Tuck. 